This young man has an issue that everybody in the group has warned him about. Let's just jump right into it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. We've learned Earth's languages through the World Wide Web. All right, this young man says, I'm not even going to lie. I hope not. But a lot of you guys do. But anyway, let's go. I need some help. I've been driving for a company out of Chicago for the last six months. A month ago, they ghosted me, stopped answering the phone calls and messages. Only way I've been able to reach them is by calling private. When I, when I do get them on the phone, they've been giving me the runaround. They still have my stuff on their truck and they keep saying they're going to send it to me, but haven't. So I have someone to go and pick up my stuff, but now they won't give me an address to go where the truck is at. I think they're going out of business, but I'm not sure. They also ghosted Super Eagle, controversial company Super Eagle, and they still haven't returned my escrow. So I do not know what to do. Jeez. <sighs> Millions of people in this particular group warn guys like this all the time. Be wary of Chicago land companies, Illinois companies. You guys know just about all companies, black op companies out of Illinois. Some of them aren't good. Maybe you haven't did your due diligence to figure out that the company that you drive for that's now ghosting you wasn't good from the upstart. But I'm not gonna stop you guys from going out to Chicagoland companies. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. Unfortunately, black op companies are the only companies that would give people a second, third, fourth, and fifth chances. You pop positive on your drug test, no problem. Black Ops Company will come in and they'll forego the, the situation that you have with the clearinghouse. You can't get hired at the regular mom and pop small company? No problem. No problem. Black Ops Company will take you in regardless. You a brand new driver that can't get in on mega carriers? No problem. No problem. Black Ops Companies will take you in that's why i said i'm i'm not going to stop you or discourage you from going to the black ops companies again like i said they give you they give you guys five chances where other companies don't but here's the thing which you guys don't do y'all let social media talk you into companies that may not be good for you there's companies all the time there's guys there's solo dudes all the time that come into the facebook group and say hey i'm looking for drivers and don't give no valuable information about the company it's just say hey i'm looking for drivers don't give you no phone number don't give you no location don't let you know where the company is at don't let you know what you be hauling or anything no it just say hey i'm looking for drivers and when many people come in there talking about they're interested and then they start asking questions in the comment session and the host of that post don't respond then that's a problem that's a problem or their response will be here check your dm check your check your email check your im pm or whatever that's still a problem for me you 
you put it out there in the public forum but yet when you got people coming in the comment session asking questions the same questions like where's you where are you located what kind of trucks i'll be driving how much are you offering and you got and you got thousands of people asking the same question and you don't respond to them i have a problem with that but yet you're happy to get with them in the in, in the messenger or in the dms or it or stuff like that but you don't want to tell the people in the public forum where you initially put the post but then again like i said i'm not going to discourage you i i, I encourage you to do your due diligence now i'm not saying all black ops companies are bad but majority of them are and you need to know and understand which ones are now i understand you probably might not know that until you get in with that black ops company unfortunately you've been with this company for six months and out of the six months it, i don't know what happened but for some odd reason you turned your truck in with, with without cleaning it out see here's the issue that's number that's number one question why didn't you clean out your truck because i can tell you right now everything that you had in that truck especially with a black ops company that's washing and re-wrenching and and putting those same trucks back out on the road your stuff is gone bruh your stuff is gone i'm sorry you you're not going to get your stuff back that's for starters number two number two your escrow if it's taking them this long like more than 45 days you can cough you can chop that up as a loss too bro you could you could chop that up as a loss majority of the black ops companies are foreign owned you know like the russians and majority of them don't care you know the only thing they care about is getting somebody in that truck to run their freight for damn near free but then again those are the only ones that give you four or five chances if nobody else would i'm just saying but listen never ever ever quit a company without going to the house first bruh and clean out your truck let me let me reiterate that let me stop the show stop the show I always tell you guys what y'all need y'all only need the essentials go bag, duffel bag and uh and a, a hygiene bag that's all you need the tr you got to understand that the truck is not yours a lot of you guys don't realize that y'all getting these trucks y'all try to outfit the trucks with tvs microwaves air fryers all, all your clothing and everything and understand that these trucks are not yours anything and i do mean anything can happen to you especially if you're going out with a black ops company all well not all some black ops companies are not to be trusted bruh so if you got all your stuff on the truck and you turned it in without going home first again like i said you probably might want to chop that up as a loss bruh it's a lot easy it's a lot easier traveling with three bags than 10. i'm just saying I'm just saying. Now, I don't know how long you've been driving with them, but like I said, begin, like I said, again, your, your stuff is lost. And as far as your escrow, again, like I said, if it's taking them that long to get you your money back, you might as well chop that up as a loss as well. I'm still struggling. 
with this post because you're not the only one, bro. There's a lot. Um, how about a smoothie? What's in that? Smoothie's a juice drink. We want coffee. Buddy, relax. Lots of you guys that getting talked into talked into trucking companies that's not conducive that's not conducive to you. You gotta understand these companies, especially these black ops companies, they're all for self. And again, like I said, you choose maybe maybe due to unfortunate circumstances, you choose to go and 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 try your hand at one of them. But you gotta you you gotta do your due diligence. You gotta look at the CSA scores, you gotta check out the FMCSA safer website, you gotta you, you gotta probably check out the reviews and a lot of these companies that you know some of them don't even have uh websites that you can probably go to when you get a company uh a recruiter or or somebody at the company that says hey just send me your driver's license information and we'll go from there mm, that's something to be sketchy about that is something to be sketchy about. But then again, I am not going to say not to work for any Chicago land companies. All I'm just going to say, and I hope this helps, is that you be wary of Chicago land companies. I mean, I drove for a black ops company. Luckily for me, I did my homework in the company I drove for, which was pretty good. I got paid. Only thing I didn't get was the miles i did get the money but i wasn't getting no miles and i was doing a lot of sitting a lot of sitting but overall overall i would say my experience with that black ops company was pretty fair was pretty fair never had no never had no issues i was able to get in contact with somebody when i needed when the truck broke down i was able to get it fixed uh wherever i broke down at and um and yeah you know this particular black ops company was was pretty good like i said the only the only con about the company was the fact that i wasn't uh i i felt that when i made it from home back to uh chicago land area i was a local driver and i was i was supposed to be a regional driver i'm supposed to be driving areas like down south and areas like up north like in minnesota but it never it never had always happened i always drove somewhere like four to five hundred miles which was which was kind of good but it was kind of bad at the same time so there you have it exactly what you're not going to shit about that's an excellent question to ask yourself in your actual voice excuse me some of us would like to order. Oh. You're a total dick, man. There. There you go. Good. You're talking. If you guys have any stories or posts or videos or anything like that that you want me to check out, feel free to hit me up at Lockout Man Podcast Guest at gmail.com or link or just send me the links that you would like for me to check out to text number 216-600-2090. And I will go ahead and check it out. Thanks again for listening. I really do appreciate it. I am Lockout Men, and this is the Recruiter Call Channel. Big cheese got it.